can create for you a capacitor um, with some common ordinary ingredients. So uh, let's see, I have uh, a uh, piece of aluminum foil that I will make into a capacitor plate and I will charge that aluminum foil up with this 20,000 volt uh, power supply. Um, what was that? Bigger? Bigger! Oh, okay, we'll try it bigger. How's that? Is that big enough? Big? Oh, come on! Okay, so connect up the uh, one electrode, and now to separate the capacitor plate from another capacitor plate, I'll have a high-tech piece of uh, mylar. I'll spread this around. Should have some traveling music or something like that while this is happening, okay. You said you spared no expense. I don't think you had any. Oh. Budget operation. Okay, here we come with the uh, the top piece. Spread it up and connect it up. Uh, okay. So I think we're ready to charge this guy up. And let's see now. Um, guys are stealing all my pieces of equipment here. To uh, to make this visible, when I charge it up, I'm going to discharge it through a fluorescent tube. So let's turn the power supply on and run it up and see if we can get something to charge up. Oh, you know what? I need to have some regular voltage here. <laughs> Feast or famine, right? Okay. Here we go. Turn on the power supply. It's interesting to watch this charge up because it kind of crackles. Hear that. I don't want to get too close. <laughs> 20,000 volts is nothing to fool around with. So, uh, so he's charged up pretty well now. And let's see if I can discharge it. I'll turn off the power supply and whip off the bottom cable here and see if I can't discharge it right through the tube here. Now you can listen and you can watch for the spark. demonstration, I, uh, I was the assistant, and I have called upon a lovely assistant here to help me uh, with the demonstration. Uh, I'd like to charge it up again, but I'd like to now take it apart while it is fully charged. And the idea is to find out where the energy of this spark is stored within this capacitor. So, we'll turn the guy on again, charge it up, crackle, crackle, crackle. Okay. I think she is just about charged. So now I will turn off the power supply and uh, I will pull the top electrode off. Whoa, 20,000 volts here. Oh, doesn't seem to have anything there, as a matter of fact. So let's put this down here and let's pull this guy off here. And my lovely assistant will help me and hold on to this little piece go and you just hold it by these ends far away from you and now we have the last piece of the electrode and oh hey there it is doesn't seem to be anything there at all so in fact if the energy isn't stored in the electrodes just where could it be well i have to reassemble the capacitor again and in fact i will actually take it and use two brand new electrodes oh. Take this one right here, and I will attach a ground lead to it. So we can see if there's any energy stored in this capacitor. Still, after all this, okay. Uh, we need to replace that, so I'll grab the bottom, we'll take the top, and we'll just try to lay it right down back on the spot right there. Okay, now put the last piece of the capacitor together. Like that. All right, now let's see if the thing is, what, you thought I was a little gingery in that? I wonder why. Well, 
Let's just take a look and see if there's anything left in this capacitor. Ah, apparently not. <laughs> Let's just try it. Maybe I haven't had it laid down completely flat. We'll try one more time and see if we get anything out of it. No. Well, now, uh, sometimes it has a success and sometimes it doesn't, and they always tell me, they warn me, do not do electrostatic experiments in a high humidity uh, room. And I told them, no sweat. Uh, well, unfortunately, everybody sweated, and that, uh, that ruined any electrostatic experiment. But, um, thank you.